Hi y'all, it's Crystal Porter here. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome to our YouTube family. Please subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button. Please click the bell to receive notifications of my upcoming videos. Please click the share button to share this video with everyone you know. Please click the thumbs up button to like this video. If you have anything you would like us to be praying for you about on this channel, or if any of your prayers have been answered on this channel, or if you'd like to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior on this channel, or if you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior on this channel, or if the Holy Spirit is telling you something that needs to be said on this channel, go ahead and comment those in the comment section below, and we will do our next upcoming videos based on those comments. Thanks for watching. We are currently at 45 subscribers, a thousand are required, and 60 public watch hours, and 4,000 are required to hashtag help where needed. That's where we're able to help you or someone that you know once we're able to get monetized financially. So thank you and you're supporting this channel and on this journey and in this calling. We'll go ahead and get started in prayer. So let's go ahead and bow our heads and close our eyes. Come Lord Jesus, we just invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want me to say today. Help give us wisdom and understanding about what we're about to read and how to apply it today. And give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see. In these words, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken, spiritual heart to be open and able to receive today. And we just put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the spirit. Guard and protect us as we travel today, those around us, the animals as well. If there's anyone we need to pray for, speak encouraging words to or listen to, show us that person. Pray that you send down our guardian angel to protect us today. We pray for our guardian angel that you give them the rest and restoration that they need to help us each and every day. And we're grateful for them. We pray that you send down the Holy Spirit to guide us today. And we plead the blood of Jesus over us and our loved ones. We pray Psalm 51 and 61 over us and our loved ones today. We pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits. And we um, pray for mercy over us, our lands, and our country, and our world, and our leaders. Help us and our leaders to have godly wisdom and make godly choices so that we can live in peace and serve you. We thank you for that, Lord. And I pray over anyone listening that today's the day they would like to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. We pray John 3.16 over them. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So if this person, Lord, that was God divine appointment that they're listening today, accepted you as their Lord and Savior, help them in their relationship and walk with you each and every day to grow with you according to your word and the way you have for them. Show them the gifts and talents you've given them and how to use them for your glory. And we thank you that we have a new brother or sister in Christ that will someday go to heaven with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And we just give you all the glory and praise, Lord, what you're doing on this channel and in the lives of the people all over the world. And I'm so grateful for them. In Jesus' name, we thank you and pray. Amen. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started, and we're going to be talking about what the Lord has to say about Genesis chapter 22. So go ahead, and if you have your Bibles handy, turn to Genesis chapter 22. We'll get started. Thank you. 
Genesis chapter 22. God tests Abraham. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, saddled his ass, and took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and clave the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up, and went unto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes, and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder, and worship, and come again to you. Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering, and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand, and a knife, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spoke unto Abraham his father, and said, My father? And he said, Here I am, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together, and they came to the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there, and laid the wood in order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand, and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven, and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. And he said, Lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing that thou hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram. And offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh. And as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time, and said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord. For because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Abraham returned unto his young men, and they rose up and went together to Beersheba. And Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. It came to pass after these things that it was told Abraham, saying, Behold, Milcah, she hath also borne children unto thy brother Nahor. Huz his firstborn, and Buzz his brother, and Camille the father of Aram, and Chezid, and Hazel, and Phildash, and Jeltabah, and Bethuel. And Bethuel begot Rebekah. These eight Milcah did bear to Nahor, Abraham's brother, and his concubine, whose name was Ruma, she bare also Teba, and Gaham, and Tahash, and Maka. So that was the end of what the Lord has to say about Genesis chapter 22. And until next time, bye!